Hey everybody, David Henry here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video, I want to talk about pixels. So, what are they, and what types are they, and how can you use them? So, if you're here, if you've landed here, you might be aware that Christmas lights, like the ones I've got behind me, um, when they are on people's houses and dance into the music, they're actually pixels and not really traditional Christmas lights. So what makes them different? Well, with a pixel, every single different node can change color and, and be operated completely independently of every other node. For example, if I look at what I've got here, this pixel is separate from this pixel, separate from this pixel. Every single pixel can be operated completely independently. Um, behind me, we see a really common type of Christmas light pixel, and what is probably my favorite. It's called the 12 millimeter pixel node, as it's often called, and these guys are really great because they're fairly inexpensive, probably the most inexpensive type that there is. Um, they're bright, they can change colors with red, green, and blue LEDs inside to be able to make the colors. And they're pretty easy to fix as well. They're fully waterproof for outdoors, and they're a really great buy. And so that's what I use primarily in my display, but there's other types of pixels as well. Another example here is pixel tape. So a pixel tape, which this kind of looks like an old film strip, um, but a pixel tape comes on a reel like this. You can pop this out here and contains a whole bunch of LEDs. And just like the nodes behind me, if I would plug these in, every single different LED can change color. Now, these aren't my favorite, and truth be told, I, I use them um, a lot when I'm working with stage lighting, but I don't use them in Christmas lighting much because when I talk to the manufacturers, they tell me, and I see this out in the field too, that even if this is sold as a waterproof pixel tape, even if it's sold that way, it's really not. Um, you can't truly make a pixel tape that's waterproof. You can put pixel tape in an enclosure and make that waterproof, but you can't make the tape itself waterproof. Now, the good news is, especially for Christmas lighting, um, these guys, these 12 millimeter nodes, are generally bright enough and high definition enough for anything you want to do, not to mention they're a lot easier to fix. So I can go with a pixel like a 12 millimeter node, and if I need to fix one of these, if it breaks, I just cut it out. I solder a new one in, and I'm good to go, and it works again. With a tape like this, there is no really cutting out one pixel and soldering a new one in. You can do that, but it's easier to take the whole segment, you know, you take a whole segment, cut the whole segment out, solder in a new segment, um, because you can't really cut out a single pixel on this, or it's very difficult to, and then rewire a new one in and keep the spacing consistent. Um, with nodes like these behind me, we really have a lot of options. For example, in my display, I'll pop up a picture here, I have lots of these nodes on Boscoyo strips, or these plastic punch-through strips that you just punch those pixels through. Um, they can stay in the strip once you're done, and it keeps the spacing consistent between them. So I really like these kind of pixels for my display because they make life easy for me, and they're really inexpensive. Now, if you're wondering, there are other types of pixels, too. And they all kind of work the same, where they, they work on some various protocols, usually one called WS2811. And what these do is, is they're all able to take the data they want and push the rest along. So we can have different shapes of pixels. We can have pixel modules. We can also have pixels with covers that actually look like Christmas lights. And um, there are also pixel floods. I go into the details on all of these over on Learning Christmas Lighting, and I'll make sure to have a link right here on that. But whatever type of pixels you go with, um, figuring out really 
what you want and where you want to put it is the first step to making a great display. So I hope in this video I've helped you to understand what the types of pixels are, a basic idea of what they do, how they work, and get you excited to figure out how you want to do pixels in your world. So at the end of this video, I'm going to pop up a video that I shot about uh, how to choose, um, talking about laying out your pixels and the first steps in creating your display. And be sure to subscribe here on Learn Christmas Lighting as well. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.